Welcome to the Gateway in downtown Salt Lake City, Utah. This is Devotion Championship Wrestling. Lauren Gardner here, the Cicerone, calling the action for you, as always. With a full pack show, let's get into it. Tonight, the newly formed forces of nature take on Turbo and the original Mike Burke. Will Bud Birch and Brett Matthews be able to defeat these seasoned vets? And then, in our main event, it's a triple threat match for the DCW Heavyweight Championship. Let's now take a look back at what has led to this historic match. Thanksgiving main event for the DCW Heavyweight Championship. Buff Shea taking matters literally into his own hands. Undeterred by the devoted faithful's quarrel, he brings down the challenger. The devoted faithful as he setting up Buff Shea to whip across the turnbuckle. But this time, Buff Shea ricochets coming back with not one, but two lariats. Now a third flight to the collarbone brings the champ down. Sowell winds up, but is caught as Buff Jay looks for the PR. But Sowell fighting back with multiple elbows to the side of the head. Now looking for the political agenda, but is shed off by the challenger, who delivers the PR. He goes for the cover. No, it's not enough as a champion. Now looking again for the PR. Again, the multiple elbows. So well, scoops, looks to slam, but instead, a roll up from Buff Jay. And that's it, folks! I don't believe it! That's it! We are running a new DCW heavyweight champion, Brad Buff That is your DCW heavyweight champion making his first appearance back here in the ring. But tonight, Salt Lake City got the Buff Shea celebration. You're nothing more than three seconds better than me. I'm gonna invoke my rematch clause for that DCW Heavyweight Championship. Let's do it when I feel like it. I'm gonna do it on my time when I'm good and ready. Not when you want it, not when all these stupid fascists want it. off the ropes, dodges a hook, and again, another body press puts Sowell down. That has worked so well for him tonight. Now with a leaky knee, Sowell down to his posterior. Goes in, looking for the PR. Sowell drops his hip, comes in with those close shot elbows to the ear. Now, the political agenda. Andrew Sowell. Sowell now looking for a second PA, but this time, again, goes for the PR. Sowell scouts it, scoops, and goes, oh no! Slams Buff Shea, Buff Shea counters and rolls, but in the scoop, the referee was took a shot right from Buff Shea's boot into his ear. Wait, wait a second. What are the problems of destruction doing here? They've got no horse in this game. And now, the Stigmata Stunner shows some, shows some respect for the title. This is ridiculous. 
The following is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Referee Chris Harmon has called for the bell. Let's get things started. We've seen Turbo before in the Battle Royal. He also goes by the name El Turbajador. Um, so you are a, a Spanish speaker. You know that he's a seasoned jobber. All right, now. Going in, El Trabajador doing very well in gaining wrist control right off the bat on the rookie, Bud Birch. Birch, who is studying here at the Al Snow Wrestling Academy, Utah, has teamed up with Red Matthews. Matthews looking to mentor Birch. to teach someone how to gain size as Birch is definitely at a disadvantage, but he's using a judo hip toss right there, using El Trabajador's own momentum and weight against him, tagging in Red Matthews, the dude who is all about chill. The two now in tandem launching El Trabajador Turbo onto his lower back. Turbo feeling that. Matthews now with a nicely employed suplex. Goes for the cover. One, not enough. They call him a working jobber for a reason. He can work nonetheless. Now this is great for a new tag team like the forces of nature to have the wherewithal you can tell they've been practicing as they cut off the ring making quick tags so that there's always a fresh man but with the tag too soon as turbo puts bud birch down quickly strike to the side of the head now a second birch slaps a third now goes across the chest oh goodness sakes dropping Birch down to his feet. Pulling Birch now into his own corner, continuing with those chops to the side of the, or excuse me, into the chest. Now it's the original Mike Birch turn. Oh my goodness! That smarts. It even smarted Birch's little hands. Calling for one more and, you know, as Burke is one to do, he gives the fans what they want as, as his tenacity shows. Of course, the small hand chant, not, not foreign to the DCW audience here. Burke now seemingly taxed after a couple of chops, goes for the tag and allows his teammate to come in and deliver a shot right to Birch's kidney. He might be seeing some blood in the morning. A nice snapmare there from El Trabajador. He looks to rush in, puts on the brakes, and decides to deliver a 
couple of knees to the breadbasket. Birch trying to come back here with some well-placed elbows and forearms, but is it enough to stop El Trabajador? Not this time, as he gains momentum again and the pendulum swings in his favor. Whipping Birch across the ring, springboarding off of the second turnbuckle, goes into a pin attempt. Look at that quick changeup from Birch using his defense into an offensive attack. Turbo incensed by the tenacity and delivers an inverted atomic drop, does not let go. Oh, goodness sakes. Looks to go for a cover, but instead takes his time, jacking his jaw and allows Birch to regain from any damage that he may have done. Birch stretching for the outreached hand of his tag team partner and mentor. Turbo cuts off the ring and brings Birch back into his own corner again. Now, the original Mike Burt coming in for a second time and delivers a small-handed chop right to the side of his face. Now a forearm to the ocular bone. Off the ropes comes Birch and into, oh goodness, Arona! Birch not able to stay on his feet and it bites him in the rear. Burke, seeing he's in trouble, goes for the tag to El Trabajador, who comes in with a seated elbow. Is that enough to make the pin? No, it's not, as you might have guessed. Now delivering ape-like hammer fists in frustration into a side choke, or side sleeper, rather. Birch looking to turn his shoulders in to alleviate pressure. Birch is now being pressed against the ropes in a full on choke. Whip now off the ropes, ducks under, maintains his momentum into a wheelbarrow counter bulldog. I tell you what, folks, the devoted faithful extremely impressed with the Bud Birch, and I'm right there with them. This young man has got a lot of potential. A W in this exhibition match would do leaps for his career if he can just get to his seasoned counterpart in Red Matthews for a tag, he might just have it. But Turbo, already getting to his feet, makes the tag to Mike Burke. In comes Red Matthews as he is tagged. And Matthews ready to deal out some damage. Oh, great! A beautifully employed drop kick now with a slam. Folks, we've seen Matthews do this before. Shades of the favorite Cesaro. A giant swing. Counting unceremoniously dropped. Goes El Trabajador. Burke upset. Wants to come in and sneak attack. But instead is planted squarely in the middle of the ring. Goes for the cover. Two. And that's it, folks. A W. And the winners, the forces of nature. There are some teams that from the start win your hearts and you can't have
Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a triple threat title match for the DCW Heavyweight Championship. A winner can only be determined by pinball or submission. This is it, folks. Our main event, Brother Chatwin inserting himself into the championship contendency after jumping and interrupting the last attempt for Buff Shea to defend his championship. I spoke with the commissioner, Big Papa Rob, about making the decision to include Chatwin in this. He told me that he had talked to Buff Shea and let Buff Shea make the decision as he is the champion with the title to lose. Everyone else, regardless of the stipulation, has something to gain. And by that logic, I, I feel like that was a sound decision from our commissioner. Sowell now goes in and attacks the smallest in the ring. Oh boy, quickly sheds Buff Shea with a stiff elbow. Buff Shea rebounds off of the ring into an offensive attack. So well now, coming down full weight atop the diminutive opponent. Buff Shea waiting in the wings to deliver a couple of well-placed lariats. Goes for that leaping knee, but is caught and placed into an offensive leg drop toss. Interesting use of your opponent there as an offensive weapon. It's a triple threat match, so that is 100% legal in this bout as referee Dewey Larson watches on. The two now into a tete-a-tete. -tete. So well looking to suplex, but Buff Shea able to reverse and goes into a neck breaker. Goes into cover, looks to make quick work of things, but Chatwin is there to interrupt things as he is known to do. Now these two, I, I don't need to tell you, have a storied history that goes years back. No doubt these two have got a lot of animosity, enmity, and angst between themselves. Buff Jay always able to pull from the devoted faithful's strength. Outside we see, oh goodness sakes, outside of the purview of referee Dewey Larson, a double-handed eye scoop. Whipping now so well, so well looks for the whipping cushion, but instead able to continue through and take out Chatwin. Coming in with a vertical body press. Buff Shea levels a would-be contender. Now goes for the cover and is broken up by Chatwin. On the outside, we do see MK Jr., MK Light, Diet MK, however you want to call it, the kid ref turned disciple in the Prophets of Destruction. These two now throwing blows back to the cranium to and fro. It's Buff Shea who gets the upper hand in this pendulum swing. However, in the background, we can see Sowell getting to his feet. Buff Shea looks for a Suplex, oh my goodness! Into a neck breaker from Chatwin at the same time delivering a drop kick to Sowell. An amazing feat from a man who is vertically challenged. He sees it as a vertical opportunity. With Buff Shea now in the corner, Chatwin delivers blow after blow to the head. Buff Shea looks to come back with a kick almost below the belt, but I believe it was still at the navel. Buff Shea looking for a snapmare, but instead is pushed right into a whoopee cushion, and it's Sowell's turn to deliver his vengeance upon Chatwin. And does so, squarely planting him on the shoulders saying this is his two. Chatwin barely gets his shoulder up very close, but I trust no others count more so than Dewey Larson. Not one to take Guff. So well upset, goes in for a choke. There cannot be 
a count in a triple threat match. There's no count out. So well. Earning the ire of the devoted faithful here in attendance. So well keeping Buckshay at bay out of the ring. A good strategy in a match like this. So too has he thrown all honor out of the ring. Staring down the best in the West when it comes to officiating Dewey Larson. So well. Drops down Chetwin again. The massive arms, ham hocks. A side of Iberian ham, if you will. But the devoted faithful doing their part to get in as the fourth man in this bout. So will again goes right back to that two-handed choke. And there's nothing that the referee can do about it. It's all legal in this, in this realm, in this contest. Back into the ring comes the champion. So well upset, claiming that the devoted faithful are body shaming him. And this Kmart King Kong Bundy rushes in only to be met in the turnbuckle by his own force again into another turnbuckle. Third time might be the charm. No, it is yet again the same outcome, barely able to rush in, but completely unable to stop his own momentum. The two now come in, body checking. Remnants, remnants of the brother Smith, only to be turned about as it is fair play. Chatwin gets into position, goes for the cover. No! Oh, two and three fours. It was so close, but it was two nonetheless. Chat went back to his feet, not stopping yet. Getting direction from the would-be MK who was outside the ring. Chat went looking to keep Andrew Sowell at bay, making sure he has got a clear path to victory here. At the Admonishing, oh, come on, don't, don't you dare faint or balk a punch at Dewey Larson. He will kick you out of this. It'll be a two-man match. Chatwin now going to the outside of the ring, delivers a foot right to the forehead, a kickstart, if you will, to Sowell, seeing that he's done enough to keep Sowell at bay. Comes back in. No, Sowell back up to his feet. Ch but the righteous one is met with a double ax handle to the back of the head. So well taking this chance to deal some quick jabs to the side of the head. Buff Shea wants to join in the fun. Comes in dealing two hands across the heads of his opponents. And Kid Ref thinks he can do some damage. I think this uh, young man is going to learn that if you're gonna run with the big dogs, you gotta learn to pee in the tall grass. Thrown into the ring. We saw earlier the straight up sucker punch that was dealt to the ocular bone from Kid Ref to the champion. Buff Shea now taking Kid Ref out of the ring. What has he got planned? for this ambitious, if not ignorant young man, throws him and takes out his opponents. The devoted faithful love the outcome. I gotta say, I do too, folks. You know, this is a, this is a huge match for Brett Buckshay. This is not only a triple threat match, so he has twice as many chances to lose the title, but it's his first title defense at the same time. Coming in with a leaping knee, puts Chatwin down, scoops up Chatwin. Sit out, slams him, goes for the cover. Two, no, not enough. 
The match continues. Buff Shea now using the power of the fourth man in this match, the devoted faithful here in attendance at the gateway. Chatwin rising to his feet, but it's so well in the background. Decides he will let things play out for a second and breaks up the pinfall attempt. So will now going back to the chair, delivers a shot. Oh my gosh! The champ might be out. So well, seeing that he now has Chatwin to deal with, with Buff Shane clearly out of the game. Goes in, but he's, oh goodness sakes! Voiced by his own Jean-Luc Picard. Oh my goodness! The chair bent and is now met with the stigmata stutter. This could be it, folks. Going for the cover. Oh my God. He's done it. He's done it. Your winner and new DCW heavyweight champion, Brother Chatwin. Ladies and gentlemen, the Righteous One has fulfilled his own prophecy, becoming the DCW Heavyweight Champion. With only one title defense, the reign of Buff J has come to an end. And I fear that now we will see a dark governance in the reign of the Righteous One. Folks, I'm Lauren Gardner, the Ciceroni. Until next time, stay devoted. Now I will kill you.